Welcome to exploring uh, IBM integration bus on cloud with a live demo brought to you by Miracle Ice team. My name is Kunal Mithil. I'm the practice manager uh, integration at Miracle Software System. And I'm going to take you forward uh, with this demo video of ours. With me, I have Gurvinder Singh, integration expert from Integration Center of, Ex of Excellence team. And he's going to present the demo to you. Let me move towards uh, the agenda on the next slide. So I'm going to uh, give a brief introduction to what is ICE and what is integration um, made easy. And then we're going to talk about uh, integration bus on cloud, the features and offerings which it provides, the limitation which it has, and going about few uh, use cases on how we can use uh, IBM integration bus on cloud with IBM in integration bus on prem going towards the callable flows and going in detail of few sen few scenarios on when to use what and in what scenarios let me go to the next slide where we talk about miracle integration center of uh, excellence also called ice is a team of integration expert at miracle who are dedicated to researching and educating around hybrid integration technologies some of the tools that the team looks into the IBM integration are the IBM integration bus, MuleSoft Endpoint platform, open source technologies such as ActiveMQ, Apache, Kafka, among others. We also have our API management practice, which takes care of API Edge, CA Layer 7, and IBM API Connect. Integration Made Easy is an initiative brought by Miracle Integration Center of Excellence team with the goal to enable people around integration technologies and their importance to our evolving digital world. Through this play playlist of videos, we will be publishing demos, case studies, use cases, and more. Please subscribe to our channel today. Now I will hand over the demo to the integration expert from Integration Center of Excellence, Gurvinder, and he will take you forward. Over to you, Gurvinder. Thanks now for the quick introduction. Hello everyone, I'm Gurvinder Singh. I work for the ICE team. I'm going to present a demo on IAB on cloud and we will see how it can add direct value to your organization. Integration bus on cloud is a consumable integration solution that includes administration tooling and a runtime for the integration deployment. So all we need to do is to create a bar file on-prem, on IAB on-prem and then deploy that bar file through the cloud. Here the content of the bar file is used to create the integration. We can also view and manage our integrations in the cloud environment. IBM Cloud is fully managed by IBM and it is built on IBM software. Now we will look at what are the IBM Cloud offerings. It offers subscription-based pricing that is based upon used capacity. IBM Cloud offers three types of subscriptions. The free subscriptions under which you can use this service free for 30 days. On demand, that you can run as many integrations as you are billed monthly. Third one is the 12 month subscription that is only available for the existing IBM integration bus customers. IAB on cloud can have many advantages for the users as it eliminates the need for hardware and the software licenses, which saves money and time. It can enable users to start small projects with subscription-based consumption model that can grow over time. It also avoids operation costs as it is managed by the IBM. So in case of any problem, IBM will be responsible for fixing them. So it removes the overhead of deploying and managing the integration projects. It also reduces the time of downtime. Now we look at how we can use IIB on cloud to achieve hybrid integration. Here we can see five different scenarios. We can have IIB completely on premise. And the second scenario shows users can deploy the integrations on cloud and can call them securely from on-prem integrations using the callable flows. So this helps when users quickly want to scale up their projects as it will reward the need for set up more servers thus saving the time and infrastructure cost. Third scenario shows that we can also call the on-prem integration from cloud. This scenario can be used when we want our integrations to talk with on-prem system of records like SAP and DP2. Fourth scenario can be used where 
we have the integrations which mostly communicates with the SaaS based applications and we can only have the IIB agents on prem to talk with the private endpoints like MQ and DB2. Last scenario shows that we can have completely our integrations on cloud environment only. Now this diagram explains how the integrations running on cloud can securely connect with the integrations running on premise using the switch server and the connectivity agents. Switch server is used to route the data and connectivity agents contain the certificates that your flow requires to communicate securely with the switch server. The connectivity agents must be running on IIB server where you have deployed the message flow. To set up the agent, we need to download the configuration file from the cloud. IIB on cloud also allows you to connect to your on-prem private endpoints like MQ and DB2. So this is connectivity view where you can select your endpoint either MQ or DB2. After that, you need to provide the connection details like host, port, channel, username, and password. Then we need to download that configuration file and create an agent on on-premise. Once the agent is started, our integrations on cloud can communicate securely with MQ or DB2. IIB on cloud does not support all the nodes. So here we look at the nodes which are supported on IIB on cloud and which, are, which of them are not recommended. Down you can see some of the nodes like MQ input, DB input are not recommended because they can somewhat degrade the performance of the flows because they interact with the on-prem private endpoints. And it, it's better if we keep them on the on-prem flows only. Now we will see what are the restrictions on using IIB on cloud. We cannot deploy the bar files that contains patterns or message flows nodes from any of the following products. WMB connectivity pack for healthcare, IIB retail pack, IIB manufacturing pack. We cannot, and also we cannot access databases or global cache from mapping node. Another restriction is that we cannot deploy the bar file that is more than 10 MB in size, and we cannot use adapter nodes like SAP and PeopleSoft. Now I will give you a live demo on two IIB on cloud use cases. In the first scenario, I will be calling an on-prem integration from the cloud, where the flow on-prem will be interacting with the system of records and will send the response back to the cloud integration. In my second scenario, I'll be calling the integration running on cloud from the on-prem integration. Here, I will use the cloud flow to do all the heavy mappings, which takes most of the CPU memory and utilization. In both of my scenarios, I have used the callable nodes because we don't need, require, we don't need the, the requirement of any gateway for the secure connection. Callable flows provide the security through agents. So for my first scenario, I have developed two applications, callable app and a calling app. So this is my callable app message flow, which I will be deploy on on-premise. The flow interacts with the SAP system and will send back the response back to the calling app, which is running onto the cloud. So I will show you the flow calling app. So this is the flow, which I expose as a REST service. So this flow will send a company ID and will invoke the flow which is I have deployed on premise. So this flow I have already deployed to the cloud. So here I'll show you the cloud UI. So this is the IIB on cloud UI. Here you can see I have already uploaded the bar files. So here the status of my, here you can see the status of my integration. So already this my calling app application, it is in running state. So if I click on it, here you will get the options like public endpoint. If you click on public endpoint, you will get the URL through which you can exp through which you can call this integration. So you need to click on show full URL. So this is the URL through which you can call this integration. So I'll copy this URL. 
and I'm going to paste it into the browser. So along with this URL, I'm sending a company ID as a request parameter. As you can see, my flow, which is deployed on premise, got triggered. So this flow will get the details from SAP system and will send back the response to the calling application, which is running on cloud. And from the cloud integration, from the cloud, so we got a response back to the browser. So these are the company details which we asked. So this covers my first scenario. Now I'm going to show you the second use case scenario. Here again, I have created two flows. So this flow will be deployed on premise and will send the large XML to the cloud flow using the callable node. This is my second flow, which I have deployed on the cloud, which will do all the heavy mappings and will send the response back to the calling application on premise. For this, I need to start the integration. Here you can see the status. Start. Once our integration is in running state, then we can call this. As you can see, our application is in a running state. So I'm going to send a large XML. So this is my input as you can see which is a very large xml file i'm going to give this input so i have sent a large xml My flow got triggered. So using the callable flow invoke node, I'll be sending this input to the cloud flow. As you can see, how quickly we got a response back from the cloud integration after doing all the heavy mapping. So this completes my second scenario. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel by clicking on the button below. Please comment and share if you like our video.